When you retire, the main question is, how much can I spend? Financial advisors often approach this question by analyzing a wide range of ways life could go. Investment returns could be good or bad. Inflation could be high or low, or any mix of these at any point in time. In each scenario, there is an amount someone could spend and still meet all of their goals, including not running out of money. And if I asked you what is the most likely amount that this person can spend, you'd say it's right in the middle. It's the spot where half the scenarios would support more spending and half would support less. For decades, we've talked about retirement spending using the probability of success score. So what's the probability of success of this most likely spending level? 50%, obviously. But wait, 50% success sounds terrible. We usually want that score to be much higher, maybe 100. So where on this graph is 100%? Right here. In other words, in every single scenario, the retiree could have spent more and still hit their goals. 100% success is really 100% chance of underspending. What's going on here? The problem is that the word success already means something. It means living the best life you can, using your resources well, spending time with loved ones, diving into interests and passion projects, doing the best you can with the life, health, and time you're given. But that's not what probability of success means. Instead, it thinks success means spend as little as possible and leave a large portfolio balance when you die. If we use probability of success, it will drive people to underspend because we want that score to be high. Just try convincing anyone, including yourself, that 60% success is better than 90. It's impossible. One reason it's impossible is that we all know that the opposite of success is failure. Take a 75% probability of success. It doesn't take a mathematician to know that that means one in four people are failing. That's completely unacceptable. But of course, it's also wrong. It's an illusion that drives us not toward the goal of making the best use of our resources to live a fulfilling life, but toward underspending and regret and leaving a lot of money behind for our executor to handle. Retirement planning is really about balancing the risks of overspending and underspending. We just saw that probability of success is really risk of underspending. Imagine someone has a retirement plan with a 90% probability of success. Then there's a market crash. You update their plan and their probability of success goes down. At what point would you start getting nervous? We often hear answers in the 70 to 75% range. But if the risk of underspending goes from 90 to 75, these clients are still living well within their means. They have no business being worried about running out of money, and we have no business making them think that they should be worried. Think about it. If we use probability of success, these clients will think that one in four people in their position will run out of money. That's scary. But in fact, they're still in the underspending zone. So what do you think? Is it time for probability of success to go? Can we do better? Let me know in the comments.